being grateful for what we're talking about this week at Area 5. And uh, I'm going to ex express a few things, uh, ways that we can show gratitude toward others in our lives. These are very practical ways, and so maybe some of them will come down and hit you and be the thing that you'd want to do to show our gratitude. Number one, uh, just provide encouragement to those around you. Be that encourager. Um, be that kind of person in other people's lives that will be able to be an encouragement to those people. Give generous compliments and make sure they're genuine. Uh, genuine compliment is so important. Not just a compliment about maybe how a person looks or what their car is like, but just deep-seated, complimentary things that are about their character, and what may, maybe what they've done in, in your lives. Very important uh, tip. Uh, celebrate other people's achievements. So important when we're showing gratitude that we are uh, understanding that other people have done good things and we recognize that. We're not envious of that, we're not jealous of that, but we can celebrate people's achievements. Another very practical way is to tip well. Whenever we go out for dinner, to be thankful to that waitress, waitress or waiter who's done a good job for you or that person who has uh, provided mechanical service for your car, to tip well, be a generous person. Uh, to be fully present when you're talking to somebody, you know, look them in the eye, be a part of their lives, uh, not be distracted by the phone. To be fully present is a great way to show gratitude. And be supportive. Be supportive of those people around you. I think back of so many people growing up when I was a young boy that were very supportive of me. They might not have been in my life every single day, but they were a part of my support network. And uh, I think I'm such a better person because older, younger, colleagues, people who were a part of my life were supportive. Another way is to volunteer for unpleasant tasks. Whenever we're able to do something that we really don't want to do, uh, and it's not a pleasant thing to do, but we volunteer to do it anyways, uh, it helps us to be much more grateful uh, and willing to kind of maybe go below what maybe we think we are so that we're able to show gratitude. Another way is to be gracious when we're challenged. We're around challenging people all the time, probably in our lives, I know I am, and uh, maybe sure, make sure you hold on to your viewpoint, but also to be gracious when you're able to be challenged by somebody and uh, just show them kindness and humility as well. Share gifts, share your money. Uh, we talked earlier about writing letters. Get that letter written if you haven't already. Write that letter to somebody, make it a, a normal practice. Donate to charity. Maybe during COVID, host a small gathering of people that you trust, that are safe, and show them appreciation with a meal or some kind of way. Another way is to say you're sorry. Uh, I know that uh, whenever we can uh, truly and genuinely say we're sorry, it opens up relationships. You know, as a father, I've hurt my kids at times, not intentionally, obviously, but when able, as an authority figure in their life, when I am able to say I'm sorry, opens up great doors of relationships. Smile. Say your thank you uh, to people. Say those things on a regular basis. Um, tell a person something that you admire about them. And then help people uh, grow and develop. Share your skills with them and be able to see the next generation of importance of that, uh, how important it is not to be self-focused only on us and me, but we talked about the we mentality of being concerned about the next generation of people coming up behind you so that that baton is passed to them and that you're doing all you can to help that next generation of humanity be the best they can in this world. Be grateful today.